Welcome to the Aviation Life Support Equipment, ALSI, demo video. ALSI is developed for the United States Army and is being utilized by various organizations of the United States Armed Forces, such as the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, Airborne, the United States Army, National Guard, and Reserve Aviation Units. ALSI makes it easier to visibly track equipment through all phases of transaction, storage, inspection, and maintenance. The major benefits of ALSI are automate 100% inventory transactions, inspections, forecasting for next inspections due, lot number due dates, manufacture inspection due dates, and historical recording of shop transactions or inspections. Significantly reduces human data entry or tracking errors and manages the hand receipt process. Email capability for customer notification when within threshold for inspection, overdue inspection, and or equipment ready for pickup. Auto calculation of due date for assets built in kits, gear date. Some key features of ALSI include automated issue and receipt of equipment utilizing automated information technology, AIT, which consists of issued distinct barcodes uniquely marked for equipment identification, IUID labels, and common access card, CAC scan. Automated tracking of equipment loans using one master equipment catalog and enhanced reporting capabilities. Provides and maintains accurate historical records. Provides capability for flight operations to ensure flight equipment is currently inspected while issuing additional equipment from the operations site. Transfer customers of the system between sites while possessing equipment from the ALSI shop and or flight operations. The following is a demonstration of the Aviation Life Support Equipment, ALSI, version 3.4.5. ALSI is a web-based software that can be accessed either from a server installed on a network or from a standalone computer. Depending on the role of the user in the organization, ALSI allows for different levels of access to different types of functions in the system. After login, you will be brought to the home page screen where all the available functions are displayed. Select a task that you wish to perform from this list of tasks. For example, if you want to see what equipment is overdue, simply select the Overdue button. Here, you are able to track overdue equipment in six ways. Equipment requiring inspection, equipment requiring manufacturer inspection, personnel flight equipment, loans open, tracked by lot number items, and tracked by lot number items, kits. To bring expired personnel flight equipment, PFE inspection, or equipment requiring inspection back to a serviceable status, click on the blue System Action Arrow. The system will open the User Transaction screen, showing who has the overdue equipment requiring inspection. Execute the PFE Quick Receive process and the equipment will be returned to stock and put into the inspection cycle. Open Transactions, where the loaned equipment is tracked for this customer, is also displayed here. Any equipment coming up due in the near future will be displayed in this Equipment Inspections, TTD. The ALSI Manager can set the customizable parameters. For this demonstration, we set the parameters to 30 days out. Next, we will demonstrate how to loan out ALSI equipment. From any screen, ensure that the cursor is in the search field and scan the CAC of the person signing for the equipment. After scanning the CAC, the user information will appear. You can leave all defaults or you can make selections depending on the transaction you are about to perform. The user can modify the quantity of the loaned item by allowing multiples of any items that are not a serialized, tracked item. The user can also extend the number of days for loaning out the equipment. When the number is set to the default of zero, the loan will never expire. The user can select what end item the equipment will be used on. A 2062 or a 3161 hand receipt can be produced to accommodate those loans that are more than one day. These forms will autofill based on the information provided by the data input to include serial numbers, descriptions, and user information. 
Also on the screen, you will be able to see what equipment the individual was previously loaned at your site and loans from other sites. Now we will sign out ALSI equipment to this individual. Scan the equipment with the cursor in the Scan Asset Barcode field. The display changes and the user's information screen have been updated for the equipment. During this process, the home screen has also been updated with this information. We will now show you how to return the equipment. Ensure the cursor is in the search field and either scan the CAC of the individual that signed for the equipment or scan the equipment being returned. Scanning the equipment being returned allows for items to be checked back in by individuals other than the original borrower. ALSI maintains a record of the transaction, and that transaction can be recalled by scanning the returning equipment. After scanning the equipment, it will bring up the user's loan information. If we scan the equipment a second time, you will see the user's information is now updated to show that the equipment has been returned. Another great way to use the software is to transfer assets and or people between sites. To accomplish this, we will perform the following steps. Click on Transactions, select Asset Transfer Information, and then select Add. Select the Transfer to Site from the drop-down of existing sites. After selecting the site, enter any remarks needed to help identify the need for the asset transfer. Select the Go button, and the next screen will generate, allowing the scan of assets being transferred. When finished adding assets for transfer, select Go. Now the transfer number has been generated and is ready for the gold Commit button. The software then takes us back to the home screen, and you can see that there is an open asset transfer awaiting receipt. Switch sides to see the Receive from Transfer on the home screen. Click on the action arrow to start the process of receiving the transfer. Click the Go button on the Transfer Information screen, and the assets for transfer will be displayed at the bottom. Confirm Assets and click the Commit button to complete the asset transfer. Once the transfer is complete, you may issue the equipment to a customer or put in storage to await future use. ALSI will also generate reports that can be saved in different file formats and or printed for review. The two most common ways to view reports in ALSI are Personnel for Equipment Inspection Due Dates and Inventory for Inventory Value Report. The user can export this information electronically to Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PDF, or to a printed format. ALSI can provide several different reports. The Equipment Inspection Due Dates show personnel, equipment, status, and next inspection due date. The report informs the user of when equipment is due, who has it, and what needs attention first by the Days Until Next Inspection Due column. Select Reports, choose Personnel, then Equipment Inspection Due Dates, and click Submit. This report shows personnel unit and equipment in the system that needs inspection or overdue inspection. To the right, it shows current status, in service, in inspection, or loaned. The Inventory Value Report is pulled by selecting Reports, Inventory Reports, then Inventory Value Report, and clicking Submit. This report lists all assets in stock, displays unit price, quantity, extended price, total price per page, and total price for the report. The 2D matrix marks that identify the equipment in the system are part of the package. Extra marks are supplied based on the needs forecasted by the unit. This enables automated issue and receipt of equipment in a paperless environment that eliminates the manual entry error and the cost of printing. This concludes the ALSI demonstration video. In this demo, we highlighted the following capabilities of ALSI. Equipment tracking, receive and issue assets, transfer of assets, generating reports. 
If there are any questions, or if you would like to know more about the Equipment Room Management System, please contact us.